This story is sponsored by Blue Ridge Environmental Defense League. Dominion Energy, one of the nation's top polluters, is planning a huge pipeline along the Great Petey River. We talked with some property owners about this proposed pipeline so close to their homes. What do you think about uh, Dominion Energy building a pipeline along the river close to your home? Well, we really don't care for it. We really would love it if it didn't happen. Um, we got enough elements in the environment now causing pollution. We don't need one more thing for the elderly around here to get sick, more sick, contaminate the water, contaminate the farmlands. This is how people live, people survive. I would not want it to come in this area, simply because you think about health problems, economic problems as well. What about our water? What about our children growing up after us? What about, uh, things go wrong all the time, yes, that's life. But you hear about those explosions all the time, you hear about the leakage in the line, in the water lines, it's too much. We don't need that in this area. Well, what we're seeing is an expansion of, of pipelines for what they call natural gas, what I call frack gas. Uh, because if you see where the grass, gas comes from, the tar sands of Canada, or you look at um, where they're doing fracking in Pennsylvania and other places, and you see the environmental uh, negative impacts where people can't drink their water, etc. There's nothing natural about this gas. And so what we're seeing is an expansion of this along the PD uh, river area, which is also bad because we get methane leaks or any kind of leakage. It can not only get into um, the soil, but it can get into the, the uh, groundwater and the PD River. And let's keep in mind that places like Florence and other, uh, other cities actually get their water from the PD River uh, and, and even though it goes through water treatment um, facilities, we don't want to take a chance on um, having that water be harmful in any way. We have our crops down there. We still grow crops down there. So we, we don't want that interrupted. I mean, that's a way of life for us. It helps supplement income. When we look at where polluting facilities are sited, which includes um, infrastructure that can be polluting, like gas pipelines, historically they are put into three types of communities. They're put in people of color communities, and they're also put into low wealth communities, as well as tribal communities. My family has owned a mass majority of this land for generation after generation. And bringing a pipeline down here, first of all, against our will, should be unlawful because it is our land not theirs i just think it's money and i and really i think it's a way of getting a hold of property that's one of the big things i think we've been had this had this property for years and years and years centuries and we're gonna let it go now with some simple chunk change? No. We'll fight. Some care and some don't. But Lord have mercy. <laughs> they should. Because it's going to hit everybody. I mean ev everybody. Not just this community but others as well. Somebody's got to do something. Everybody should do something. If you believe in justice then you don't want this pipeline. We need your help. Go to brettle.org. This story is sponsored by Blue Ridge Environmental Defense League.